As some of you may know, I made a tutorial on how the leveling and overriding systems can improve your weapons and armor, but there comes a point in the game where even the bonuses they give you aren't enough, and then you realize you need to level up your forging and crafting. But as you may have realized, leveling them up after you get both forging and crafting over level 50 can take an extremely long time. Time we could be using to destroy monsters or talking to the villagers. Well, my friends, what if I told you that you can maximize both your forging and your crafting skills in less than three hours? Still not impressed? Well, what if I told you you could do this in the first act right after you save Dolce from the Insidian Mansion? Well, if this interests you at all, sit back, relax, and crack out your 3DS as I teach you how to be a smithing god. First things first, there's some prep work that needs to be done. Don't worry, all we're doing is preparing the necessary materials and this shouldn't take too long. To start things off, and I cannot stress this enough, Get a heart pendant. This is essential to the process and without it will take twice as long. All you have to do is complete the request for Dolce and she should give you one as a reward. If you have already done this but still don't have a heart pendant, don't worry too much about it because you can craft one after you reach level 45 in crafting. All you need is a love crystal and a silver pendant. A silver pendant is easy to make but finding a love crystal can be tricky. The best place to get one is right outside the Autumn Bridge. Once there, you will see a love gate which spawns every single time you enter and exit the room. And if you're lucky enough, the gate will drop one. But hopefully you won't need to go through this process and can move on immediately to the next step. After you've gotten your pendant, you need to go and collect some grass. But don't go off and collect random ones all willy-nilly. You need to collect them in order in this specific color. First green, then purple, blue, black, indigo, gold, red, orange, and then finally, white. Why specifically this order? Well, each of the grasses that I mentioned has a different level of skill. Green being the lowest at 1, and white being the highest at 65. And don't worry if you can't find some of the higher level ones like orange and white, because more than likely they'll appear in your field while you're doing all this. And if they don't, you can find the white grass specifically in the sex territory at the first checkpoint. Fun fact, you can go through Maya Road to get all the way at the end of sex territory in the first arc and there won't be any bosses. But as you may have guessed, the enemies will one-shot you if you aren't properly equipped, so be careful. After you have collected the grass, you need to ship a couple of them. Start with green, purple, blue, and black. After you ship them, the grasses will appear in the clinic shop menu for 120 gold apiece, which is great because you're going to need a lot of them. After you have all the grass you need, you're going to need to get a lot of iron. The easiest way to do this is to go to the order menu and have the gem merchant appear in town. He sells iron for very little gold. If you can't get him, just go around and collect ores the old-fashioned way. Mighty. If you are strapped for cash, sell items in your item shop once you have the vendor license. If you don't have the vendor license, sell gems and food that you need. And now for our final prep step. Have lots of milk and eggs so you can make food. This may not be important, but I assure you it is. It's true that you might be able to go to the bathhouse, but it gets expensive if you keep on using it. But having farm animals that produce food items or going out of your way to grab some food items will be much better for you in the long run. To give you an example, when I had started this method, my cooking and eating skills were around 20, but by the end of it, they were both around 50. Some of the easiest food items to start out cooking with is the boiled egg or the hot milk in the pot. Then moving on to the oven to make cookies, which will give you a lot of cooking experience. Now that we are properly prepared, let's begin. It's up to you which one you want to start with, but for me, I started with forging. If you are starting with forging, make as many broadswords as you can, but if you're starting with crafting, make as many cheap bracelets as you can. Once you have made the items, start upgrading each of them to level 10. At first, you should be leveling up really quickly, then after a while, you will notice the amount of experience you're getting per upgrade is lowering. If that's the case, take a look at what level your crafting and forging is. After you finish completely upgrading the first broadsword, your level should be around 10. If this is the case, switch to the purple grass. The reason for this is because you want to have the material that you're upgrading with be as close to the level that you are in forging or crafting while not going over. So let's say I'm at level 16 in both forging and crafting. I have the option of continuing to use the orange grass, or I could try using the white grass because it's only 5 levels ahead of me and says I'm able to forge with it. Do not do this. Not only will you be getting the same amount of experience you would be using the orange grass, but it will also cost you more RP. So to summarize, unless your forging and crafting level is higher than the material you are wanting to upgrade with, don't do it. It's a waste of RP and gives you no benefits until your level is over the difficulty level of the item. While you're forging, if you notice your RP getting low and you think that you should stop to restore it, don't worry about it just yet. Even if you run out of RP while forging, you can still forge a couple more times. 
It will just cost you a percentage of your health, and that increases each time you do it while having no RP. I'm usually able to forge two more times after I run out of RP before I kill myself. Then you should stop and eat until you're fully restored, then rinse and repeat the process until you're at level 99 and crafting and forging. So to reiterate, these are the steps you should be following. Make items, upgrade items, check the grass to see if you need to switch to a higher leveled one, keep upgrading until your RP is depleted and your health is halfway gone, eat and cook more food if needed, then start the process all over again until the desired level has been reached. And that's all for this week. If I missed something in my explanation or you want me to clarify a step for you, let me know in the comments below. And as always, until next time, see you later. Hey, did you like the video? If you like what I do and want to see more of me, like and subscribe. And if you have a suggestion for something you want me to talk about, be it Rune Factory or not, let me know in the comments below. And starting today, I will now be uploading every Monday and Thursday. So I guess I'll see you then.